Hello people, welcome to a new video. After a long time I would say, as nothing interesting happened during September, I took the time to go on a vacation. Now that October is close, we will take a look to the Steam Workshop and see some interesting maps for this update. Let's go. Spirits Avenue, a king of the hill map located on an abandoned city. The residents had to leave the city. However, the streets are now habitated by those ghost cats that you will find in many parts of the map. The capture point is in front of this cinema, where you must capture the point. Otherwise, pet these cute ghostly cats. Sewer, another king of the hill map, a map divided in two zones, above we have the capture point, and below we got the sewer system, where mutant rats will spawn to attack anyone, they have literally shields and pipes, they even will taunt you sometimes, simply epic. <sighs> 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 I think this looks familiar. Oh look, 2 fort event. An interesting reskin for this iconic TF2 map that includes some new additions. This new design for the intelligence that includes a cool animation when captured. Also with spells, skeletons, and a reworked timer if it gets added to the Kantraka. Welcome to the Freaky Fair of the Freaky Mirasmus. This is a control point map that features an upgrade station. Just like MVM, when you kill enemies you will get money that you can spend to buy upgrades for your character and weapons while you try to capture the points. You can also buy canteen power-ups that just like crits and uber you can activate. For example Colossus. RTD. Rejuvenate, Ghost, and a Lethal Sentry Buster, a very interesting addition. The Life Snatcher, a combination of gamma modes called King of the Flag. You must hold the device inside the zone until the timer reached to zero, but in the moment, the Life Snatcher will be draining the health of whoever is holding the device. The machine has a very good design, and the ambience, that looks like a Fallout map. Static, a reskin of powerhouse. This map moves away from the typical Halloween spooky skeletons and pumpkins. And now we have an old time movie underworld with mysterious TV skeletons. You must collect batteries from fallen foes and deposit them on the underworld. Entering through the giant TV portal. We got another reskin. Now for Sujin. Even though player destruction is not the most appreciated mode, this map shines with his design of an enchanted Japanese forest, where you must collect offerings for the forest spirits on the capture zones, fighting on the woods of the map. Toxic, a king of the hill map set on an abandoned island, with a mashup design of a chemical plant and a gothic cathedral. This map includes a three-dimensional water that looks very cool, the semical vats, that will turn you instantly into a skeleton, and the underworld, being a toxic sewer maze. Crypt, a robot destruction map, you must slay the cultists of the other team, in order to collect souls and win the match. Honestly it's a little sad to see how they don't even make an effort to defend themselves, however there will be cultists who will defend themselves by casting Jarrett. I think it's a good concept, but it feels a bit repetitive. Hell of a man. Now Saxton Hale defeated the devil, and has taken his place, and as the new CEO of hell you must fight him. The new Saxton model is very well made, and the map combines a forest design with a hellish ambience, also featuring a healing lake to recover your health. It would be interesting to see a Saxton Hale mode on this scream fortress, and also on the Kantraka. And finally, have you wondered a map like the one on Meet the Pyro? This map looks like that. Dynamite features a new and unique gamma mode, where one team must capture the cart in order to push to the enemy team base and hold it until the count reaches to zero. This map also presents a new experience, free roam buildings, meaning that you can jump over buildings without crashing on invisible walls. Even if your character can't fly, you can use the jump pads near the spawn, but watch out when jumping because the map is literally burning. What do you think about all those new maps? Subscribe for more TF2 videos.